Okay, so last time we talked about the basics of SketchUp. So you should know at least how to make a shape, drag a rectangle, raise it up so that you can make a box that can become something else. Now let's take it to the next level. Remember, you can also use the draw tool. Um, if you remember, we found the midpoints of the sides of our box, connected them, and then you could use the move tool to make a roof as steep as you want. But how can we take this to the next level? Did you know that you can drag things that you create not from your building and then put them inside your building? So let's say I drag a circle, which I got from the fifth button down. It's normally the rectangle, but you can switch to a circle. And then I raise it up. What if I take this, I'm gonna click here, drag a square around my object I wanna move, move tool, and what if I put it inside my house? You can also think about doors. This kind of looks like a tower. What if I wanna make a door but make it a little bit more unique? Let's say I have this tool. I'm gonna draw my door. I'm gonna start from the bottom edge, go up, make it as tall as I want. But maybe I want more of a rounded door. So I'm gonna take this circle button. I'm gonna find that midpoint, drag out until it about hits the end. Now, if I do the move and push tool, it won't look right if I, if I try to make it. So I have to make this into one shape. I'm gonna press the back button because I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna press the click button, click on the lines I don't want, erase, or you can even just press the erase tool. That might be even easier. And now I have the shape of a rounded door. Let's see if I did it correctly. So if I did this correct, yes, I can push it in and out and you have more of a unique door. Maybe I can do one window, but let's say I want this window again, like I want them all the same size. I can click it, boop, control C. If I press control C and then I press control V, it has now copied my window and I can kind of put them by each other. Now it looks kind of like a face. And of course you can push and pull and whatever you need to do. Let's push the other one in. All right, let's go over some more advanced tools. So as you guys know, you can add textures and make it unique. So maybe this building is made out of wood and then on top is a different type of wood. But do you know that you can also add things like cars to yours? So I'm gonna move back a little bit so I have some space. If you press this button right here, components, you can search a 3D warehouse. So let's put in a car. I would like a car. There we go. And look, there's some different um, ideas here. Now you don't wanna add too many of these. As you can see, look, I've selected a large model. It's gonna slow down your SketchUp. So I'm gonna ask that you'd only do like one or two because the more you add, the less likely I can actually see this. And I'm gonna put my car right there. And so now I have a car next to my house. And I want you to experiment with these tools over here. You can move, but there's also a rotate button. If I wanna rotate this car, I have to get that little circle, the style flat on the ground. So if I put it on top of the car, it's gonna look really weird. But if I put it on the bottom and then click again, I can move the car around as I wish. So continue to experiment. Like I said, if you have any questions, just raise your hand, but I want you to take your designs to the next level. Have a wonderful day, and I'm so excited to see what you are going to create today in SketchUp.